Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to launch Arc Survival Ascended game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue. Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Restart your computer once. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to try play Arc No Battle Eye Anti-Cheat Unofficial Server only. So when you launch the game, click on play. You, you can try this play arc no battle eye anti cheat unofficial servers only you can try this select this put a check over here and then click on play and then launch the game if you are already playing this then you can try this so first of all try this and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage and then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now over here open this shooter game folder binaries folder win64 and over here you will see the game exe file so run the game exe file so make a right click instead of launching the game from here you can make a right click and then click on open or you can simply make a double click and launch the game so so try this exe if that does not work you can try this exe so make a double click and launch the game still you're facing the problem then make a right click and then select properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that still you're facing the problem you can try this exe make a right click select properties and then put a check on run this program as an administrator then click on apply click on ok make a double click and launch the game still you're facing the problem then again make a right click and then select properties and then this time put a check on the box which says disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game do the same thing with the second exe file and try this exe file full screen optimization disable full screen optimization and then click on apply click on ok launch the game make a double click still you are facing the problem make a right click then select properties and this time put a check over here and then select windows 8 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work try the same thing with this exe file so put a check over here select windows 8 then click on apply click on ok launch the game still you are facing the problem select properties this time select windows 7 from the list apply ok make a double click launch the game do the same thing with this exe file select windows 7 click on apply click on ok make a double click launch the game now if still you are facing the problem in that case this time uncheck all the boxes so if it's not working you can uncheck all the boxes do the same thing with this exe file uncheck all the boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to try these in launch options so you can try these entry in launch options so first of all make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can select the game in the launch option over here in this box you can type in dash sorry dash dx11 now type in dash dx11 now this has worked for many players so type in dash dx11 close this and then launch the game launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try dash d3d11 so make a right click and then select properties that is dash d3 d11 and now launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try dash force so it's dash force dash d3 d11 now try launching the game and then check next you can try dash window dash d3 d11 so make a right click and type in dash window space dash d3 d11 and then launch the game and then check the last one is dx12 so 
if that does not work you can make a right click and then type in dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check now if none is working if nothing is working in that case make a right click and then select properties uncheck remove everything from here from the launch option and then follow the next step now the next step is to make sure date time time zone and region is correct on your computer so on the bottom right over here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on set time automatically is on and then click on sync now sync now is important so make sure that you click on sync now if you receive any kind of error click on sync now once again and then go to language and region and make sure right country your country is selected over here and then launch the game next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so when you're trying to play multiplayer game online game you can type you can run this command so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you always open command prompt as an administrator now copy all these commands one by one paste it over here hit the enter key so copy it one by one paste it hit the enter key Now once done, now restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Restart is a must. Now after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Also, if your computer has an Ethernet port and if you have an Ethernet cable, you can use Ethernet connection. You can switch to wired connection that will give you stable internet connection and that should fix the problem. But still you're facing the problem. Next step is, to, is for NVIDIA users, set this PHYSX processor to your GPU in NVIDIA control panel. So make a right click on the desktop and then show more option. Click on NVIDIA control panel. Now once NVIDIA control panel is open, go to set PHYSX configuration and over here select NVIDIA your graphic card select your graphic card over here and once you select your graphic card over here click on apply over here and once this is done now launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to uninstall and reinstall battle eye now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files go to the game installation folder open the shooter game folder binaries folder win64 open this battle eye folder and then make make a double click on uninstall battle eye so make a double click click on yes click on yes click on ok now once this is uninstalled you can now launch the game and it will try to install the battle eye once again so after you uninstall it here you can see the install option to install battle eye so you can install it click on install click on accept ok click on yes to allow and let the download complete you can even install it from here if you want to install it here you can see install battle eye option so you can make a double click and click on yes to allow you can even install the battle eye from here but after you uninstall it you can launch the game it will when launching it will reinstall the battle eye so you can click on play and let the installation complete and then launch the game next step is to do a Clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website. Now over here, select your product type. Make sure that you select the right product type over here. Then select the right series. Make sure that you select your series over here. And then select your graphic card. So make sure that you select your graphic card over here. Now if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on start search 
now scroll down over here you can see the latest GeForce game ready driver is 545.92 this this is the latest one right now so click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation so put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete first of all it will uninstall the previous version and then it will install the new version so let the installation complete and once the installation is complete restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here now go to the game installation folder if the game installed is c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder open the arc game folder now open the shooter game folder binaries win 64 select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse select the second exe file now click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save again click on browse and check if there is any other exe file so i think this is these are the two so once you do this now launch the game and then check next step is to install nvidia studio driver now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so you can i'm showing for nvidia so open nvidia website again select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system then click on search scroll down and then find the nvidia studio driver so this is geforce game ready game ready game ready this is the nvidia studio studio driver so click on get download click on download now and once the download is complete run the exe file and then make sure that you put, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation after the cl clean installation restart your computer and then launch the game now if the studio driver is not working in that case you can switch back to, to the geforce game read driver so if studio driver is still giving you the problem in that case you can go for game ready driver so make sure that you install the game ready driver the latest one you can install the latest one make sure that you do a clean installation and then launch the game so try this nvidia if that does not work you can switch to game ready driver but make sure that you do a clean installation each time and then restart your computer Next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Komodo, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then open Windows settings. Go to privacy and security. If you have Windows 11, then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update in security and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection, scroll down. At the end, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app. Now click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. Open program file 686 Steam folder. If you have the game on different drive, go to different drive and then open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Open the ARC game folder. Shooter game binaries win64 select this exe file so select this exe file and then click on open again click on add in allowed app browse all apps select the second exe file now click on open once the game is added over here now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel now go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app browse and then again open the game folder now open the game folder and then select the game exe file 
click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once it is added again click on allow another app click on browse select the second exe file now click on open again click on add in my case both the exe files are already added so in my case this is already added once added click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important so make a right click on the game select properties go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files click on it once the verification is done now launch the game next step is to if you are able to launch the game try window mode disable frame generation disable nvidia dlss turn off menu transition in options and also lower down graphic settings so if you are able to launch the game launch the game first now once you launch the game go to settings and then go to video over here and over here select the now lower down the resolution now if this is set to 4k you can try 1920 into 1080p you can even lower down more and then now if this is set to window full screen you can try window mode you can switch to window mode and then check now if the graphic graphics preset now if this is set to epic you can try high you can even go for medium or you can even go for low quality now advanced graphic you can lower down graphic settings i have already lowered down the graphic settings now over here if uh, general shadow is set to high you can set it to medium or low global illumination quality if this is set to high or epic you can try medium or low now here also you can select medium now go to rtx over here now if nvidia dlss is on turn it off now this has worked for many players frame generation now if this is on turn off frame generation this has worked for many players so it might work for you turn off super resolution also turn off nvidia reflects low latency now go to ui over here and over here scroll down at the end you will see over here somewhere over here you will find disable menu transition so if disable menu transition is off that means it is on so you can turn it on so this will enable disable menu transition now click on save apply the settings now check the performance now the next step is to uninstall mods so if the mods are installed you can try to uninstall mods and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you so to uninstall mod go to the game so go to mods list over here and then over here in my case i've already installed this one so you can try to uninstall it uninstall so after you uninstall the mods you can check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed click on restart computer so make sure that you restart your computer after this update and restart and after the system restart launch the game this is important so update your windows to the latest version now disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor disconnect additional controller connected to the computer also disconnect all the usb devices which are not using so if you have these devices connected disconnect all the external devices which are not using also disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the game select properties turn off this option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have overlay on in discord turn it off if you have overlay on in geforce experience turn it off so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the 
overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner or reverb tuner or any any over overclocking application so make sure that you close all the overclocking application and do not overclock and then launch the game also turn off these services so if you have any third party services or software running close it including all your browsers especially the chrome so make sure that you close all the browsers make sure that you close everything make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here first and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted over here so make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services only then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on okay and over here uh it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 1024 1024 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to uh, install visual c++ file now this is important so copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 download x64 so download both x86 and x64 and then run both the exe files so run x64 now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed so it's telling me to restart my computer so please ignore the error run the second file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install again it is already installed now once install make sure both are installed one install once this is installed now restart your computer restart is a must make sure that you restart your computer after this 
and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the, the last step is to uninstall the game if nothing is working you can uninstall the game and reinstall the game so uninstall the game and then go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drives so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to ssd first and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel